Welcome back to Miris, the world of mice, and crickets, and shrimp. If you haven't seen the first episode, watch it first, then come back to this one. A link to the first episode will be in the i-card in the top right of your screen. Miris, the world of mice, is a seed world. A seed world is where a world is seeded with Earth life by some intelligent organism. In the previous video we watched, the mice, shrimp, and crickets evolve into many new forms. In that last episode, I did not give the creatures of Mira scientific names with Greek slash Latin nomenculture. I might not pronounce them correctly, but I'll try my best. Mus Bingus, the fat mouse. Mus Fisedula, Sekede, the cricket mouse. Caridia Virent, the green shrimp. Caridia Pseudoterpus, the shrimp perk. Caridia Cadaveropulvis, the marine snow shrimp. Gorillidae Magna Insula, the Galos Cricket, Gorilla de Cunculum, the Burrowing Cricket, and Gorilla de Cornu, the Horned Cricket. The previous video was before the Age of Land Predators. Currently, Muris is in the Veridimarian period, or the Green Sea period, due to the oceanic algae mats. However, the increase in animal population and decrease in oceanic algae mats due to overconsumption, the planet is slowly cooling. The crickets of the Galos continent have evolved to be larger thanks to more oxygen on Miris. The horned cricket has evolved into the hookface, Carogiluncus. The hookface have evolved their horns have a barbed end to keep their prey from escaping. They also have their eyes on a stalk to see past their massive horn and allows them to survey the land for their prey. The herbivorous Galos cricket have evolved to be more armored. Hence the name Armored Cricket, or Gorillus Armus. They are very large and covered in the hard chitin armor and the lower set legs. On Earth, there is a creature called a Mole Cricket, but on Miris, we have the Murician Mole Cricket, or Gorillus Telepassi. The Murician Mole Cricket has large forelimbs and small backlimbs to dig for roots and worms. The crickets of Telus have also grown in size, as depicted here. The shrimp of Miris have diversified exponentially. The green shrimp, however, has gone extinct, and a species of shrimp perk has taken up the niche of algae eater. These algae shrimp perks, or Caridia pistris, algae eater, that has a blunt face and arms that have turned into fins. Another shrimp perk is the jousting shrimp perk, or Caridia pistris, celebusina. They have also turned their arms into fins to stabilize them as they move. Their tails are similar to an orca, shaped for speed. The jousting shrimperk spears its prey by ramming into them at such high speeds and kills them from shock rather than blood loss. A smaller cousin of the jouster is the deep shrimperk, or Curita pistris alta venatora, that is sometimes hunted by the jousting shrimperk, but hunts another shrimp in the depths, the sea muncher, or Squilatera equor. The Squilatera equor is a benthic bottom feeder of marine snow, being a descendant from the marine snow shrimp. A close cousin of the sea muncher is a land muncher, or Squilatera ovumsaki. They evolved to live on land, and has evolved a membrane around their gills that allows them to keep their gills wet and oxygenated for one or two hours. Their swimmerettes have fused into a sack to hold their eggs and keep them wet while on land. Due to Muris' rings, the tides are extreme even though Muris has no moon. This creates the perfect environment for land munchers, as the high tide makes it perfect for them to go in and out of the water. The land munchers are found on both continents and the isolated island of Skilala. Due to the introduction of predatory mice, one lineage of Moose Pincus has evolved into a medium sized omnivore, the spine mouse, Ecodermis zacharyci, or Zacharias spine mouse. This spine mouse has developed its fur into sharp quills or spines to deter predators. The cricket mouse has evolved into a large predator, the cannibal mouse, Idemus primus. They cannibalize other mice as well as their own species. At birth, the pups eat each other, the strongest and the fastest growing surviving, making the cannibal mouse gain size quickly. They have adapted their incisors into large teeth for ripping off flesh. They mainly eat the buffalo mouse, Muscramen primitiva, who are extremely large lineage descended from the fat mice. They are very large and have evolved large stomachs to eat grass in addition to the wheat. 
They have also evolved shorter tails to reduce capture from predators like the cannibal mouse. A nearly opposite evolution to the buffalo mouse is the tiny mouse, Musimia minimus. They have become smaller and took up sort of an arboreal niche, climbing the giant sunflowers of Miras for seeds. Their tail has elongated and become semi-prehensile, which allows them to move around more efficiently. An offshoot of the cricket mouse is the honey mouse, Mus episcomodentis, that feeds off the giant sunflower bees in their honey. They have thick skin and fur that repel the giant bee stings, and a sting from those giant bees could be fatal to a honey mouse pup, meaning that they have to defend their nests from bees. In the drylands of the southwestern coasts of Tellus, a mouse has evolved large, powerful legs to leap and bound. These jumping mice, Musexalians vestidas, eat the crickets in the drylands and have escaped the reign of the cannibal mouse. For now. Another lineage of the fat mouse is the floating mouse, Nataiumos primitiva. This mouse has evolved to eat the great oceanic algae mats of the green sea. It easily floats as its fat mouse ancestor was very buoyant. The floating mouse uses its strong back limbs to repel itself in the water in case it needs to get to that algae just the slightest bit faster. Because the floating mouse has no natural predators. As you can see here, the creatures of Mirrors have evolved many forms, varying in size and shape and growing larger every episode. Thanks to all my subscribers and all the positive comments and support the series has gotten. Tune in next time for more Mirrors content. Goodbye, and have a great day.